here with Christy today. She works at um, Cruz, Santa Cruz Santa Cruz Candy, Candy okay. Company. Santa Cruz Candy Company here in Powell. Um, I wanted to pop in today and see what she's got to offer and wanted to give her an opportunity to let us know what we could come in, um, what, we, what we could expect when we come into her shop. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I can welcome this person to her store. How are you? Thank you. That's a good thing, right? People are coming in when we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> so, Santa Cruz Candy Company is a new business in downtown Powell. We opened Memorial Day weekend at the Powell Parade. We had our awesome, our sweet VW. Yeah, 19, 1972 Westie VW van in the um, parade. So, we've just been going for a couple of months and things are going really well. Good. Yeah. I had a chance to walk around and there so many different things. I want to look at um, a lot of throwback candy or retro candy that I haven't seen since I was a kid. Right? That is the coolest thing. That's one of the best parts about working here is listening to people talk about, oh my gosh, I haven't seen this in so long. Yeah. I remember. And <laughs> yeah. It's fun to listen to that. So what's your little, what is it, a tin cram? Tin cram is our bulk candy concept. Instead okay. Instead of buying candy in bulk by the pound, which mm -hmm. the owner always felt like you paid a lot and didn't get very much. Yeah. We came up with this concept of um, enough to get you where you're going. So a, a little two dollar tin will, is enough to get you down the street. Um, a seven dollar tin will get you across town, and our twenty dollar gallon bucket is for a road trip. Oh, very cool. And the cram part is that it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be engaging, so you get to try to see how much you can get in there for your two dollars, so that it's really a good economic. And you can mix and match. You have like 10 or 12 different types of candies in there for this. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, so talk to me about Santa Cruz Candy Company, how it came about and those things. This is a great story. Um, our owners are local. They live here in Powell and they have been longtime residents. Um, but they moved away in the in-between time. So they lived here. They were transferred to Northern California on business. Okay. And while they were there, they went to the Santa Cruz. Boardwalk. Okay. And found this super cool retro fun candy store on yeah. the boardwalk called How Sweet Shop. No way. Right. Oh my gosh. And they, <laughs> and they thought that's too, you know, too ironic. Yeah. So they said, you know, that's what Pal did. We needed to have one of those places that when you were a kid, you could ride a bike, walk to, and they wanted to pass that concept on to the next generation. That so they, awesome. they said if we ever get back to Pal, we'd love to open a candy store, and that's what they did. And so. We're the Santa Cruz Candy Company in Palo Ohio. That is awesome. I love the irony yeah. there. That's crazy. It's fun. Um, so talk to me about your wishing tree over here. That is such a cool concept. I love that. Love our, it. We are called, um, our, our tagline is uh, Candy Community and Crafts. And so the craft part of our story is that this uh, old house that we are residents of has a second floor. The first floor is the candy store, and the second floor is an art studio. Okay. And we teach art classes for children. So at the Powell Festival, our art director, our art teacher, wanted to do something that engaged the community and showed that we had art classes and um, allowed people to sort of be creative and positive at the same time. So she started the Wishing Tree at the Powell Festival, really? and it really took off. Well, I mean, that's crazy. I've, I've taken a couple pictures, I'll post online here in a little bit, but I mean, it's... it's can't wait to look through them all. I think um, we're on our fourth box of tags, and there's wow. 500 tags in each box, so we could have as many as 2,000 tags on the tree. Wow. Great. So when there, I know that you said you've got a class upstairs right now. Yes. Um, is that going to be something that's going to be implemented here soon? Is this your first class that you've had up there? It's not. We started okay. classes uh, in June. Okay. She's been doing camps for different age groups. Okay. Um, she has classes in uh, toddler group, uh, young children like four and five year olds, sort of a six to eight category, and then older children. Okay. And where can the people find out about these classes and camps that she offers? Her website is wondercreativekids.com. Wondercreativekids.com. Yes. That was their link to that on your website. There is a connection on our website. Okay. Yes, in our about page, you can learn more about that. There. Okay. Is there anything else you want to let our people know today? Well, we're open seven days a week, okay. um, Monday through Thursday, from 10 to 9 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 11. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Monday through Thursday, 11 to 9 p.m., and Friday and Saturday, 11 to 10 p.m., Sunday, 12 to 7. Those are great hours. Yeah.
trying to be available. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being thank with you. us today. I look forward to um, getting some more people in here. I can't wait to go spend some money, too. Fun. Bye, guys. Thank you.